What's up y'all? So today I'm gonna be coming to y'all with another rebuilding video. So as we all know, the Milwaukee Bucks just dismantled the Boston Celtics in the NBA playoffs and the talk of the town today has been Kyrie Irving pretty much. <clears throat> How bad he was playing, you know what I'm saying, in the playoffs, how he was separating himself from the team, and pretty much how he's just out of Boston, you know what I'm saying? So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be rebuilding the Boston Celtics, even though they're a pretty good team, you know what I'm saying? But we all think, well, I ain't going to say we all think, but I think Kyrie Irving is out of here this summer. So, pretty much I'm going to let him walk this summer. I, um, I simulated the, uh, the regular season. I had to start a new one because... As you see, their record isn't the same as it really was in the NBA this year. <coughs> but um, the reason I started a new one is because I wanted to load the draft class in. And when you start today, they don't allow you to load the draft crap, um, the draft class from the real, like the real draft class in, or the loaded draft class, but the the ones that the people make in. So. I started a new one simulated. We didn't win the championship or anything, so that's good. And I'ma just let Kyrie walk and pretty much go from there. So let's get started. For some reason, I know this isn't realistic, but we have the first odds to get the first pick in the NBA draft. If we get the first pick, I'm not gonna pick Zion because the Celtics aren't getting the first pick this year. Well, they do have a chance because they're in the lottery, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say that, but I'm pretty sure they're not gonna get the first pick this year. So if we do um do that, if we like if we get the first pick, man, I'm not gonna pick Zion. Okay, we get the fourth pick, so that's more realistic. So we'll do we'll um go ahead and do that instead of doing the first pick because that would have made this rebuild a lot more or a lot less interesting. Wow. So who were the other three picks? They picked RJ Barrett first, John Morant second, and Sekou Dumboy a third. Okay, so we can get Zion. And since it's the fourth pick, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I know this isn't, this isn't realistic, but hey man, I they didn't pick him, so it would be dumb of me not to pick him, you know what I'm saying? So we just gonna pick Zion. Um, go to our next pick, and we can get DeAndre Hunter or, or Bull Bull. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get Bull Bull. I like him, man. Like in real life, not even in this rebuild. I really, I really like Bull Bull. So, boom. All right, so Kyrie declined his player option, which is good because we're gonna let him walk. Al Horford accepted. Aaron Baines accepted. Do we want to accept? We want to bring back Simi Ojale. Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna bring back Simi Ojale. All right, so here we are in the next season. Of course, Kyrie is gone. Jason Tatum is our best player at an 89 overall. Al Horford is an 84. Jalen Brown is an 83. Zion Williamson starting out at an 82. I'm pretty sure throughout the season his overall is gonna go up tremendously. Gordon Hayward, who I'm looking to trade, even though, I'm sorry, I know Boston fans, y'all kind of like have a love-hate relationship with Gordon Hayward, but I'm gonna try to trade him and get something back. And in free agency, the one move I did make is uh, bringing Avery Badley back to the team. So here goes the squad. Of course, we kept Terry Rozier, who I might trade as well. Um, and then our two draft picks, Bull Bull is probably gonna go up tremendously as well. So let's go ahead and make some trades. And then, um, start the year because I want to go ahead and trade people before we get started because I want our team chemistry to be able to go up as this the um, season goes on so let's try to uh, win a championship man I'm gonna try to do this in one like this first year so let's see all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do this trade I know I know it might be like why are you trading at all over but I'm gonna I'm gonna start bowl bowl I'm gonna start Bull Bull at my center position and hopefully he grows so that way we can bring in Mike Conley as the starting point guard. So, welcome to the team, Mike Conley. Okay, so change of plans. We're actually gonna do this trade and we're gonna bring Bull Bull off the bench. So when I do this trade, I'm gonna try to get, um, trade Aaron Baines, who I don't need anymore because I'm, I'm going with Bull Bull as my backup center. 
<laughs> so hopefully this doesn't backfire. Um, let's see, let's see, man. All right, we're gonna simulate a little bit because some of these players I can't trade. So I'm gonna sim through and then try to trade those last two players to get something and finally complete the team. And then we're gonna just try to simulate and see if we can do this. But I'll be right back. All right, so another change of plans. I know I said I was gonna keep Bowl Bowl as my um, backup center, but I'm actually gonna um, trade him for this. This is a great trade in my eyes. I'm gonna trade him and Eric Gordon for Montrez Hill and Derek Favors, and hopefully I can flip Derek Favors, but I'm gonna keep Montrez Hill. So welcome to the team, Montrez Hill. All right. Now let me see if I can um, flip Derek Favors. Give me one second. And now I'm gonna do this last trade for Boyan Bogdanovich to just bring some firepower and scoring off our bench. So let's trade him and welcome to the team, Boyan. All right, and this is our new uh, rotation. We got Michael Conley, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Zion, Clint Capella. Then coming off our bench, we have Boyan Bogdanovich, Montrez Harrell, Jalen Brown, Terry Rozier, and Avery Bradley. I'm gonna probably change it to a nine-man rotation as we get farther in the season, but I'm liking how our team is looking right now, man. I, I really do. Let's go to our um, system. Let's see, let's see, system. And we are going to do... Um, we're going to do balanced. We're going to do balanced and... Um, I just think uh, we're going to stick with defense. Defense is our system. So, okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Then, let's start simming these games. Obviously, we're probably going to lose a few because our chemistry right now is at a 61%. But I'm hoping by the time we get to the end of the uh, season, we'll be at like a 95 again and we'll be rolling. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys, so I'm at the end of the season, and we won 61 games, which is a big jump from the real Boston Celtics last year, who only won 49. Um, Stephen Curry is your MVP. Zion from our team actually won Rookie of the Year. Dennis Schroeder, sixth man. Giannis, defensive player. Bobby Portis, most improved. Brett Brown, wow, they won 63 games. Wow. <laughs> I thought we was for sure gonna be the first seed. Who do they have on their team? Okay, but let's go anyway. Um, all NBA first team, second team, um, third team, all that stuff. But anyways, let's get on to the um, the playoffs. Let me go see who's on this Philly team. Like, see if it's any different. They got Julius, DeAndre Jordan. Uh, they don't have to buy us anymore. I guess. This team won 63 games. Wow. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's, we got to play Cleveland first. Let's um see. Who, oh, wow. Their two best players are injured. Yeah, this should be a sweep. This should be a quick sweep. So let's go ahead and sim game one. Wow. They won game one. Colin oh, they they weren't injured. I'm tripping. I forgot the yellow uh, health sign don't mean they injured. That just means uh, they're kind of gimp, but they still went crazy on us while being injured. Kevin Love and Colin Sexton. So game one, they won. There we go, game two, we won. Um, game three, we win. Game four, we should win, there we go. And in game five, let's get out of here in five. There we go, so they won the first game, but then we went four straight. So, there we go. Um, <sighs> this one's gonna be tough, man. This is gonna be tough. So let's see the Atlanta Hawks. 
Trey Young, John Collins, and his Cam Tier. Okay. So they still pretty much have the same team they added in his Cam Tier, but we should win this one easily too. So game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. And game four, we win. And we got it there with a sweep. So let's simulate this round and Oh, Philly got eliminated. Philly got eliminated, so let's see who's on the Bucks team who just destroyed the Celtics in real life. Giannis is almost a 99 overall. Still got air butt, so they actually have Marcus Moore, who I completely forgot about. How could I forget about him? He was the best player in the series, but okay. They got Dwight Howard. Uh, I still feel like we should win this. Even though they got a 98 overall, let's see who our best player is. Jason Tatum at a 90. I feel like we should win still though, honestly. But let's see, man. It's gonna be tough beating Giannis. 98 overall. And they win one game. I mean, game one. Giannis has a 37 point almost triple double. Oh, man, this is gonna be rough. They win game two. <laughs> Marcus Morris get his revenge. We win game three. There we go. That's what I like to see. Come on, win game four for me. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> we about to lose to the Bucks again. Oh my goodness. God, let's simulate this one some cash. <sighs> oh my god, it's neck and neck. Oh, I never about to win. So the Bucks are gonna beat us in five again. Hold on. Oh yeah, in five again. And we have been eliminated, man. Greek free, he just too good. <laughs> and yeah, they're definitely gonna win this one. <laughs> yeah. Giannis averaged 27 points, 10 rebounds, eight assists. But anyways, there you have it. We made it further than we did um, last year, I guess. But we still came up short to the same team. Um, I would go further, but this video getting kind of long. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. But I feel like I did a pretty good job to be without Kyrie Irving. You know what I'm saying? And not really get anybody in free agency. Uh, we we made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but we just couldn't overcome Giannis, who I think it's going to be like that, honestly. He's probably going to be, like, dominating the East for the next few years, so I'm not mad at that. But anyways, thank y'all for watching this video. I'm going to be doing more videos, more rebuilds, NBA content, anything basketball, pretty much, I'm going to be doing. Um, but yeah, thank you. Comment down below if you think I did a good job or if you think I did terrible you know saying anything just comment down below like this video um turn on my post notification and please 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 subscribe to my channel and without further ado i will see you guys in the next video peace